Hello and how are you? My name is Kevin Bambai and we'll come here to our 10th lecture of creating a complete hotel management system using uh, plain PHP, MySQL, Bootstrap, CSS and HTML. So you know we always do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our timer. So without wasting much time, let's go straight to our today's business. As you can see, I've already opened our editor and uh, we're going to resume from where we stopped in the previous lecture. In the previous lecture, we were able to create, to get rooms and also create a room. So we wanted to work on the edit logic and also on uploading multiple photos or the gallery logic. And also maybe work on changing the photos, something like that. That's what we want to work upon. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, proceed with our today's business. So I'll begin with uh, clicking on edit here. So when you click on edit, we want to go back to this create screen page. When you click on edit, we want to take you back to this create screen what? Screen page. So let's go ahead and see how we do that. So I'll just simply come to, to the admin rooms, admin rooms, and then come here where there is edit. Instead of having admin room categories create, I'll just change this file and put admin, admin, rooms create okay so it can take us to the rooms create then here we shall put question mark and then we pass the id and then we, this word will change to will be edit so let me let's go ahead and check so if i come and refresh here and then i move my mouse over here you'll see you check this at the bottom here you'll see that um i'm able to see the word edit so when i click on edit you can see the information for the room has come but uh what you should observe is that the edit is here yes but uh, the thing is uh, the information of the room did not come okay the information of the room did not come so let's go ahead and work on the logic of checking if it is edit if it is edit what if it is editing and then we go ahead and display the what the editing information or the rooms the information about that room that is being edited let's go ahead and do that logic so we shall just simply come to our rooms and then go to where there is um, room create okay room admin room create uh, sorry admin room create so that is where we go and then we go to where there is uh, check if there is an id so i'll just first collapse this guy and we come here so you check if the if if there is an id in get we go ahead and get the id so let's first see we get the id so after we just say db find and then you pass rooms and then pass the id but it is not doing the room so let's let's first see so if i come here and say die and then put uh, the id and attach an empty string because dying with an id alone it will not display so if i come and refresh here you'll see that the id is set right the id is set uh so let's see if the room is being found let's check if the room is being found so you shall come here and then try to put that you'll see that the room is being found okay the room is found it's not now so let's find why it is not editing so let's refresh here first of all you see create room is still not create room however it's supposed to be edit room so how do you do that oh if they think this is the place where i did a mistake instead of uh, changing this editing to true we had to again to do that kind of mistake so this is how it's supposed to do say if room is not now then you say the logic is now for editing now if you come and refresh you'll see that uh now the information has been fed there automatically the word has changed to editing room and then the information has been fed there so you did this by possibility of duplicating the what the file of uh, room categories okay so here we go everything has been uh, substituted there i can even be able to submit so only the file the main file is uh, we should make it optional maybe so let's go ahead and say admin create and then come into main photo you can make it what you can make it optional because sometimes someone might not be need to change the what change the photos let me come here and come to where there is uh, attributes I remove this required field all right so there you go so if i come and refresh everything is what is beautiful uh so now after doing so uh maybe we might need to display the image that uh of this photo if it is there something like that we may need to do that uh however we shall do we shall work on that later maybe 
However, uh, we can proceed now to what? To gallery photos. So gallery photos, uh, we need to be able to 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 to, to submit multiple photos, okay? So let's work on the logic of submitting multiple photos. Then we shall come on how we can present these things with the UI later, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and put here a main photo, I mean, so a gallery photo. So I'm going to come here to the logic of editing. Remember here we are editing, okay? So, okay, even maybe before editing, so you come here to if there is a post method. So I'm going to work on the logic of uploading gallery photos, at least for the single photo, I've already finished it. So let's first come here and just do some echo and put pre-tag and then go ahead and do some uh, pre, I mean and do some print r and then we die with I mean we put files and then come here and die so when we die let's see what we shall be able to get so I save I come and refresh I come and refresh let's go ahead and select multiple photos I come and refresh multiple photos like these three and then go ahead and select them so that are the photos four files have been selected now let's go ahead and click on submit. So when you click on submit, you see there is this main photo and then there is this what? Gallery photo. However, gallery photo is bringing it as one photo. Okay, it's bringing it as one photo. So I don't know how we can accept multiple photos. I think we can accept multiple photos by... Um, let me see. Uh, let's put... Uh, multiple photos is sending only one photo. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, let's try to make some search. Uh, let's come into GPT and let's see what we need, what we are missing. Uh, mal tipo photos, mal photos, mal photos. Um, HTML fields two, 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 two. So let's see that string is lower All right, so here was supposed to put here on the name was supposed to put this square on the name So let's go ahead and put there is gallery Here, so on the name we have to add this, like this, to accept multiple photos. Let's get a refresh, let's go back, refresh, select some four photos, command gallery, select multiple photos, and then submit. You see that we have now many photos. That is beautiful. So we're going to work now on the logic of what? Of uploading these photos, right? Going to work with the logic of uploading these photos, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, save a camera refresh. You see, we have many photos, okay? So let's get on back on that logic of uploading many photos. So I'll come to our our die here, our post and die here. I'm going to go ahead and check if the field of gallery photos is set. So I'll go ahead and check if it's set. So I can just simply borrow this. If it's set and it's not null. So I'll check file is set. And then come and put this field of gallery photos here. See that if it is set or it is not null. So I'll go ahead and check. So if I if I did that, if I do that, you'll see that uh, I'll be able to get something like that. Like this. Let me put this guy here. Put this one here. Alright, so let's go ahead and dump whatever has come from galleries. So I go ahead and refresh. So you see that we have this. Okay. So we can count, check if it is not empty, check if it's not empty. Uh, we can check if is array array uh, array and not empty. Okay. So let's go ahead and check for that. So you see. If is set files I've already done that and not empty like that. So we go after after doing so we go ahead and upload and loop as we upload. Okay, we loop as we upload. Alright, so you see I go ahead and say for each and then I get each item here. 
right i get each item okay so let me just look through this let me remove this guy yeah so i'm going to look through these photos so i can put here maybe file okay so this is a single file let me remove this thing that copilot has done for me i don't need it uh -huh. so let me just simply do some printer all right so here i've just checked uh if it's not null i mean if it is an array at the same time if this array is not empty if it's not empty then i'll go ahead and do some for each loop i look through this thing this array of what of gallery photos okay so let me display here what i'm getting from the loop so if i come and refresh you'll see that i'm getting this kind of data i'm getting let me first remove this guy if i come and refresh you'll see i'm getting each file okay i'm getting the files themselves all right i'm getting the file themselves i don't know why is i don't know what is this oh okay so is bringing them in form of name what what one by one okay so i don't know how going to approach that so i'm going to get the name first after getting the name we go ahead and get the after you're going to get the names after getting the names we go ahead and get the the what the these are the names after getting the names we go ahead and get the image types we go ahead and Oh my god, it's too much. Let's go ahead and say maybe uh, gallery gallery photos, okay? So I can just simply say now uh, photo I can maybe put this underscore to make it a little bit uh, so you get the name you get the type we get the and check if there's an error like that and then the size and then the okay then like this so let's see what you have here if it is valid for us to upload because if you don't do if you don't do so then you shall not have the right thing let me see let's first dump this and we see so if i refresh you'll see that uh, we have those and and find fields that's the challenge okay all right so let me let me just come here and get maybe let's just look through them and get one by one so uh let's let me show you how you can approach this so what i'm going to do i'm going to say max um max what max or maybe max count so this is the maximum number of gallery so if i come and do here i come and the print echo here you'll be able to see that those are the number of the photos in the gallery because see the arrangement the photos are separate each of it each of something is separate okay so that then those are the those are the items so we have all right i think still that's not right okay let me well these are so many let's first understand the structure of this let's first understand the structure of this let me do it faster because our time is running printer and then come and display this let's go ahead and see so the names are saved separate and they are four and then the full path they are saved separate and then the type will save separate each of each of something is saved separate so what you're going to do we're going to first determine how many are they okay here in the inside okay how many are the names then after doing so we will go ahead and now i uh, will go ahead and uh, and uh, now look through according to that we will make a loop and then we shall be collecting one by one all right so let's uh, so to do so i'll just simply count and then say so uh we're going to count so let me first show you uh so this is uh so that is the array so this is uh the first parameter name so name so you see here these are the names only so i'm going to count only these names and then we shall be able to determine how many photos we uploaded so to do so i'll just have simply come here and put this guy here and then if we come and see our max now we shall be able to see that there are four photos that are uploaded so i'm going to look uh, for i'm going to make a for loop okay so i'm just simply say four and then go ahead and say i i is less than what is less than what is less than max and then say i plus plus all right 
so now our first peak so our first let me even remove these ones okay okay so our first photo let's our first photo maybe say gallery can remove even this guy no problem okay we shall just let's leave this one okay so you can say photo um so i'll go ahead and say the name of i so if we want to get the, the first photo the photo the first photo name we just simply say photo and then you put the name and then you go ahead and say we, we look we get this particular item okay okay this is what we are looking in and then we pass the what the name right and then you put i so this i will bring us the first value in this let me show you what we want right now so this i will give us uh let me do here some printer okay so remember you see what we are printing is this one but you see if i refresh here you'll see that it has the name so if i want this first name so i'll just simply come and say name and then i put zero to get the first value in there so let's go ahead and uh, just display this and display what we have saved here in the photo array okay let's see what we have saved there in the photo array so you'll see it is the first name because we'll have approached it because this is going to be zero one two two three so you see this is the first so we're going to get this first name let's refresh so you see we have got the names you've got the names right you've got the names uh so what else do we need now we need the type can get the type like that we need the temp name we need the error we need the size i think that's it okay so if i come here and just dump only the photo okay and maybe die here you'll be able to see that i'm able to get now a particular file okay we're able to get a particular file this die doesn't exist okay so you see we're able to get a particular file it's just now like a single file that you are uploading all right so after doing so now i'm going to upload this file okay so to upload file uh, the first file okay so it's going to be much more like uh the way we did at the first time here where is the uh, upload this one here okay so you know it will always return this okay so let me go ahead and upload so i'll just simply say response equals to upload so we're uploading this thing that we just organized this first photo that we shall have organized i'll come and pass it here and then you see what you get so i will give us a response and then check the response is uh is is array and it has a status and the status is true if it is true then we shall know that uh, the photo was uploaded okay so i can know here maybe die and say uh, maybe success uploaded or oh, success and then if it fails i can come here and say die and say it fails it failed not uploaded you can see that right you can see that this is how i'm uploading passing this parameter that will have collected here and then this is how i check for the successful uploading so if i come and refresh right now you can see uploaded and if you come to our images you'll see that there is a new image which is this one that has been uploaded so by doing so we shall have uploaded our product i mean our photo successfully and that is so beautiful isn't it it is so beautiful so we proceed now uh we can now just simply say now if a photo is uploaded successfully it should be appended to this array this this array of gallery photos we can just simply say uploaded okay uploaded gallery photos this one okay all right so if it is if it reaches there here in this section then you shall know it is successful upload so you can just go ahead and append whatever has been uploaded here so what are you getting from uh from what from the response uh on from the response we are getting uh the the, the, the status at the message whereby the message is the destination of the file or the file has been uploaded to like this so that's all we need uh let's so if you do like this you shall be able to upload those products successfully so now let's see what we have now in uh, our gallery let's see what you have in our gallery so you can pause the video and look at that very carefully so let's look at what we have 
in the gallery so i can just simply come and say there then remove this you do not upload this one here printer you see pre-tag and then printer and then you come and die here so if i come and refresh can you see it has been applied successfully uh only that why is it overriding it because you am expecting many photos wait mm -hmm. okay sorry we are putting the, we are dumping for let's dump the uploaded gallery photos so if i dump uploaded gallery photos you can see our photos are there with their unique names and a successful what and a successful upload i hope you can see that all our photos are there with a unique name and a successful upload that is so beautiful so what you shall do so I'll just simply come here remove this guy remove this guy like this okay so I come and remove it okay so like this okay so um now Mm hmm let's go ahead and uh, do what let's go ahead and uh, do like if it is uploading i mean now if you are if you're uploading the photos you should not add them in. so gallery photos so where is uh where is our what our our upload so, okay so this is the insert so did you put something in gallery photos no uh so we're going to begin here with the insert just come here and say gallery photos okay gallery photos this is the name okay so gallery photos is going to be just a result of so let me make this one to be an empty thing i can just make it an empty what an empty array like this and then uh just check if if this is not null null and it is not empty okay if gallery uploaded gallery photo is not null and not empty then you go ahead and say gallery photo is go to json encode so you're converting this uh, array that is going to be uploaded to the inter i mean to the, to the database i'm converting it to json and you know json is a string okay so i convert this one to json so you can have gallery photos all right so after doing so i go ahead and add this gallery photos there okay like this that is for the create now let, let us go now to the what to the edit okay to the edit so edit's going is just going to be much more like create let's just duplicate here so check if it is editing we get here the data all right so here we have to get data separately so now we go ahead and check if 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 uh the photos all right here i'll come here and explain <laughs> you shall come here to this and explain properly okay so you go ahead and check if the photos are there uh if the photos have been uploaded remember this function of uploading photos on top there if the photos are being uh, have been uploaded uh we're going what you're going to do we are going to add them to the existing what to the existing photos in the gallery they should not replace them all right uh so what you're going to do uh we're going to just simply say we're going to first get the product that is being edited we're going to first get the the, the item that is being edited so i can say room equals to db find i get the uh rooms from rooms okay so i check if it is null if equals to null i just simply send back a lot the message and say uh room not found okay so if it is not now then it means that i'll have uh the database gallery photos the photos that of the that are coming from the database so i can say um database database what gallery photos okay database gallery photos which equals to so you just simply do uh this one decode okay okay let's first make it an empty let's make it an 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 empty array like this so uh so 
we go ahead and check if these gallery photos are not null in the room in the room i first check if uh room gallery photos is not is not null and okay str lane of room gallery photos okay is it greater than you can't see my screen no, no i can see it now i can see it now all right so. i wasn't seeing it it is a bit slow. Okay. Uh, so here, I go ahead and check if it is not null. At the same time, if the length is greater than what? Is greater than uh, maybe three. At least the photo should be having the three characters and above. I can say maybe four, right? So if having more than four, those that are in the database, you see? Okay. These are coming from the database. Then I'll go ahead and say uh database gallery photos equals two so i convert those photos that are there from json so i'll say json decode room photos if you want errors you can just simply say try and catch but let's keep it here so if you get error we should not fix it so there you go so there we go uh there we go okay so there we have the photos in the array format since we have run the JSON decode, okay. So I check if uh, this whatever is is not array. If this that has been decoded is not an array, I set it back to what to an array. Okay. All right. So uh, after doing so, I'm going to come here and say uh, I'm going to come here. I'm going to come here. Uh, I'm going to come here and then say so we're going now to look through these uh, uh, gallery photos that have been uploaded okay the gallery photos where did I get this one let me remove this so I'm going to look through these photos that have been uploaded this one uploaded photo is not null uploaded photo is not empty you can even try to check if it is not array as well so let's go ahead and now do some for each okay so go ahead and say for each loop so we get these photos that have just been uploaded and we look through them so as we look through them i add their images i add their names see i'm putting here i add their names on this gallery what on this gallery photos okay i add their name on this gallery database gallery photos so here i'll have got the photos that have been uploaded okay so we're adding them to the what to the gallery all right so if they are not there then it's also still okay because the photos remain the same then after doing so uh after doing so i can go ahead and now update the what update the the photos however we can decide to only update the photos when there's some change in photos for example you can just go ahead and put this one here okay then you add these photos in this if not in the loop you add it in this if and then say uh gallery for database photos so here's a we're going to put gallery photos equals to so we go ahead and store it in a what in a variable we go ahead and start in a what in uh just a second we go ahead and store it in uh, this we add it in the data and then put in this variable and then we say equals to and then we convert this one to json as well json encode to json as well all right so by doing so we shall have got uh what we want we shall have achieved that what we want okay so by doing so i can go ahead and um i can go ahead and now upload the what the product however we need to update this data as well because this is just for categories so let's let's just get this as it is here get it here and then come and put it here uh, this section okay like this um, honey honey 
I mean. So like that. All right. Uh, so yeah, so you are getting these photos, and then store them here. Ramin, Ramin, Kolam Polam Pol and him recording a video. Sorry about that. Uh huh. So, sorry. So here we get the photos. I mean, sorry, get the data. As and put it here, the data has been uploaded. We put in this data, and then after we go ahead and get these photos, okay, and get these photos, and then we, we convert them from JSON. We look if there are some photos that have been uploaded. I mean, we convert, we check if these photos are not, uh, are not what are not uh, empty. We go ahead and store the photos that have come. From database and we convert them to an array then we get the four that have just been uploaded and then we add them in this one okay if they are not also empty so these are the four that have just been uploaded according to the logic that we did here on top of everything okay so after we go ahead and convert now these photos if they are new we go ahead and add this for data into what into JSON all right we do the same for the main photo however I don't know whether here we also called it main photo. Let's see. Yes, I think we did call it main photo. So it's a main photo. So it's going to be db insert and then you put in rooms like this. db insert in rooms. And then you put the ID and then the data. So you can say maybe here room updated successfully and then redirect to rooms. All right. Okay. So I hope you can watch that very carefully and try to understand everything here so this in case when you're updating uploading i mean sorry uploading right i mean updating so let's go ahead and refresh so let's go ahead and refresh All right, so let's go ahead and refresh now. Okay, so refresh. Let's see, room updated successfully. However, we've lost our photo. I don't know why. Let's see why we lost our photo. We'll update. So if main photo is not null, if main photo uh, maybe yeah i see uh, this is the problem this check is supposed to be on top there i'll have to remove this main photo from here all right we can leave it here but here main photo has to be removed because you have to check if, it is, if there is a new photo before you delete all right so that's okay i think i think that is okay so if i come and refresh uh now you can come and edit and uh, go ahead and add our photo and you see that adding an existing photo so if i go ahead and submit see the photo is back okay so now uh what, now what we want right now is to maybe work on uh, deleting the photos that we don't need maybe changing the photos all right that's what we want to do right now let's go ahead and do that so i'll just simply this thing has crashed Okay, so what you're going to do, I'm going to just simply um, display these photos when you're editing. I want to do some logic that can display this photo in bottom here. And if there are many, we can also display them here in form of photos. So we can be able to show these photos right away. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. If we can achieve that at the end of this video, then it will be a great achievement. Okay uh so let's go ahead and uh, see how you can do that let's see, try that, see how you can do that so you have your main photo so um turn, 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 turn. yes so come here and say you have main photo uh, 
Uh, let's see how I can put that in the input. So if you come here to main input, you'll see that uh, we are passing the type of a file. Okay. So I'm going to do the logic and see if the, if the type of a file is is that. All right, let's just make it life simple. Let's just display them here. All right, let's just display them here. Uh, so what you're going to do just going to say uh, IMG we got we're going to check if it's editing uh, You can say display uh, main photo if is editing and not empty all right that's what's going to do right now here so I just simply come and say um, Open PHP. Okay. Do PHP and put if is editing and what and the uh, and the uh, this is not null and main photo is not null and the uh, strlane of this photo is greater than what is greater than a two all right so that's your simple condition okay so that's a simple condition so if this is true uh then it means that uh it then it means that we are able we can be able to display that photo okay So, so you come in between here and then display the photo, I believe. Yeah, so you just simply say uploads and then you go ahead and display the what? The photo like this. So if I come and refresh, you see the photo is there. So maybe I can just simply give it some small width. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, 70. And make it maybe give it a class of what? Of rounded. All right. So that is the photo. Okay, that you uploaded. Now I want to put the logic like uh, we should be able to delete the photo. Um, let's begin this logic from here in the gallery. So I'm going to do the same for the gallery. Um, so the gallery. Uh, we're going to. Uh, so you can just put the logic on top here Of getting the photos when you're editing so editing so if it's editing or can just simply say we can just simply say um, Gallery Gallery photos and you make it uh, We can say maybe exist gallery photos and you make it that so we come here and check if the room is not null then we shall we want to define these existing direct gallery photos however before we do some JSON decode you may first put some condition and say if it's not null it's not null and the strln is greater than four at least all right so then you can know that okay you can go ahead and try to do some JSON decode from here. Okay, so I think that's fine. Uh, what's what's complaining here? If it's not null and the star lane up to a bracket like this. Okay, so if I come here, I will say everything is fine. So all that you need is just not to put the what uh, the condition and loop and display them. All right, so let's go ahead and go to where there is. Uh, multiple photos and say maybe uh gallery it is here just so going to check and just we're going to say if is if is eddy eddy thing and is not empty So in this case, I'll go ahead 
and uh, display those images. So you can see how I'm displaying them. I'm just looking through them ah, and display them there. You see? So if you come and refresh, I see it is not coming. So having to add some images, let's go ahead and add some images. Submit. Success. Uh -huh, submit. Successful upload. Come and click on edit. So you see the images are here. The images have come though they are not well organized but you can see the images have come so i can just simply come and so i can say maybe call one so i can just simply put here maybe some other row some other row And then display these images here. Alright, so so those images for the gallery. Okay, uh, for the gallery. Let me put it under the gallery, the actual gallery here. Here. Okay, oh yeah. Right, they are here they are here okay that only that i wanted to put there some delete what delete button So I want here someone should be able to delete an image. Okay. So how can we do that? How can we do that? I think we start from there in our next lecture. Yeah, we can do this in our next lecture. But right now, you see, I can be able to upload multiple uh, files or multiple photos. Right, what if I just remove this row? This one. This and this. Keep that one. Shall have that. Let's try to put this immediately under this. And then shall have this. So it's becoming too small. Alright, let's leave it there. Uh, now uh so that's it for today uh, our time is up i will not proceed but uh, in the next lecture we'll begin now with uh, deleting these buttons with enabling these deletions and then after we proceed so yeah that's it so here we have delete and then the image name oh let's do it right now let's do it right now this is going to be admin delete photo admin delete photo so this admin delete photo is going to be having uh the room as uh, the id of an item that one delete the photo maybe you can attach here also and uh, the type of the photo that you want to delete Like this, okay. So let's open it in a new tab. Let's be opening it in a new tab. So I can just simply say target and put blank. And then you come here, come here, and the uh, yeah, that's it. So if I come and refresh here, click on this to get to take us here. However, uh, we don't have this file let's do it very fast in just two minutes okay so i'll come you see that's the file that's going to create this one so let's do it in two minutes i'll come come here to our files 
create new file then call it admin room delete products can just call let me just call it admin delete admin photo delete admin delete photo okay you can call it maybe admin photo delete or admin delete for it's okay and whatever i call it let me now update this url to admin photo delete all right after doing so i'll go ahead and uh, come this file okay so php will require once the title the title and then let's first display what is being sent okay and then printer path get okay so i refresh let's go back refresh when you click on delete it takes you there see this is what is being deleted so you check if one of these is not set we just say invalid parameters so say check if all these are set all right and put them there and then you'll see we'll just check if this one is set and this and this and this so if all are set, I'll go ahead and get the what? The type. Type equals that. Okay, the type is here. The type is here. The type is here. It's already been collected. So I go ahead. Before I delete the photo, I go ahead and get the the, the type. So I check if, if the type equals to a room. Okay, if the type is equal to room, I go ahead and do some. And find the room okay room equals to that okay so I check if the room is null I just simply come and say uh, die and say room not found okay okay if it is found I get the photos so you have already found the way how to get those photos so let's come here to create and see how you use existing photos existing photos this is how we got them existing photos okay so just simply come and get the existing photos of the room okay okay so they are here we go okay so those are the existing photos of the room so let's go ahead and display them first before we proceed so I just simply say for each i can just simply say uh printer and then come here and die okay so if i come and refresh oh there is an error okay so we are here we are here if the if the for that being deleted is for a room so if i come and refresh you'll see that here are the photos okay so i'm going to say so i'll check if it's not an array if i'll check if is not what is not an array of a, this if 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 it's not in array <laughs> i'll check okay, if if is not an array i can say maybe if it's not an array i go ahead and make it an empty array okay if it's not an array i go ahead and make it again back to an empty array like this uh that's what i check now i i go ahead and now loop i can say now say new photos new gallery photos okay and then i go ahead and loop through these ones so if I find, if I find, if I find, okay, I just loop through those photos. So if I, I just say, get, I loop, so if it is not, if it is not the photo that you are deleting right now, if it's not the photo that you are deleting, remember when you are deleting, they also send us the photo ID 
or the file that is to be deleted, which is uh, this one, okay? So if it is not the file that is being deleted, I add it there, okay? So let's see, let's echo here uh, and say maybe this is uh, before, okay, okay, let's, okay, we have to, let's just, okay, so these are, this is uh, before, and this is, let's put here, after. All right, so let's see what you, how you have these two. So you have these ones, and then you have these ones that have been cleaned. Okay, so they are the ones that we're going to update. So if I come and refresh, you'll see that we have before, there are these many, and after, there are these. So while this one has been what? Has been removed. I hope you can see that. Let me first remove this printer of the room. Let's remove this first. I hope you can see that, guys. I hope you can see that. So look at this very carefully. Okay? So I hope you can see that, you see? Before and after. So there are four. There are now three. So there are one that we're going to save in the database. Okay, so after... Uh, so after doing so, I'm going to I'm going to do what I'm going to update my database. So if I update my data, I'm going to first delete the file. So I'll get here the file. So the file equal to this, and uh, I can go ahead and check if the file exists. So I can say die here. A file exists. Okay. I can say now say die say uh, go to file. So if I come and refresh here, you'll see that the file not found. All right, so why? Okay, so it has already been deleted. Eh? It's already been deleted. But if it is there, we'll just go ahead and see. So let's try to, to do with the file that we have not deleted. So let's click here. So file not found. All right, let's see why. Let's display it here. So it is uploads stroke this photo. This is the one that is being sent. Yes. Uh huh. Is it there? Yes, it is found. So I don't know why it's saying not found. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I'm doing here. Yeah. This is found found okay so you see it is found now here the file is if i refresh you see the file is found okay so if it is found i'll delete it so this is how you delete it just simply say unlink okay so you say unlink it will be it will be deleted okay so i check the file is found i delete it if it's not found that's okay so it's now so you see here there are 21. I come and refresh here. Now there are 20 files. One has been deleted. All right. So after doing so, I go ahead and the update now the database. So I can just simply say now and say data and say maybe photo gallery equals to the new gallery, the new photo that have remained there. And then I go ahead and say update, uh, which is going to be rooms and then data and then the ID. Okay. Is it how we are updating? We begin with the ID, then the data. Okay, so the ID. So I'm just updating only that, and then I go ahead and echo and put that message and redirect back to edit. I can I can redirect back to admin room create. Or I can just die here. Let me just die here. Say die say room photo deleted successfully so if i come and refresh room photo deleted successfully so if you come and uh, refresh here you'll see the remaining group of photos so I delete this one tap room for deleted successfully come and refresh here remaining that you see that is beautiful okay that's deleting the room photo if you want to delete this one, you can just change it. Okay, that is very good for now.
then let's uh, begin with the front end tomorrow we're going to begin now implementing uh, this let me show you templates so tomorrow we're going to start implementing this and see how we can come up with these integrated in between there all right that's what we're going to do tomorrow so hope you don't miss and uh, hope you're going to practice until this level okay goodbye and see you in the next lecture so make sure that you don't miss as you can see we are now putting things together and things can now start making sense okay things are now making sense all right goodbye and see you in the next lecture